Hi, sixth grade, Ms. Garcia here to give you a brief overview and directions on how to access the information you're going to need today for your statistical measures um, mini project. Uh, so first and foremost, if you have not copied down pages um, 59 through 60 in your math ISN, you need to make sure to do that because this is where you're gonna be doing a lot of your work and a lot of your analysis uh, for this little mini project. So if you haven't done that yet, pause this video and go do it right now. It's in, um, in Google Classroom as well as on our Bitmoji Math Classroom as well. Um, so once you've done that, you uh, want to first open the document that uh, has the statistical data collection. Now these are all questions that I asked you guys a couple of weeks ago to answer on a Google form and you all answered them, which is great. You are going to, as the directions say, you are going to choose one, one question to focus on. And whatever question you, you choose, that's the question you're gonna write at the top of your page here on page 60 of your math ISN. So that you know and that I know what question you're focused on. Um, so if I, you get to pick any one of these uh, and only one, um, I'm just going to choose the how many books have you read this school year, okay? When you open that link, it's going to take you to another uh, another sheet, a Google sheet that has the information on it for you. So this is the data that was collected from the Google form. You see here that there is um, the title where it says books read. Um, so you know that you're on the right tab. These are the numbers that you're gonna be focusing on. These are the answers that, we, uh, that I received from your fellow classmates and yourself. So you are going to use these numbers for your data collection. And that's in the next section of your notebook where it says the data, you're going to enter in the numbers here. Now it's your choice. You can enter them in the way that they are on the screen or you can put them in order. It might be a little bit more helpful to you if you put them in order from least to greatest. You really wanna pay attention to how many numbers you have as well. Once you've done that, you actually don't need either of these two documents anymore. The rest of your work goes on the pages in your math ISN that we'll talk more about during our math meeting um, today. So um, as far as the documents go, that's all you need. If you have any questions, make sure to email me or, um, or ask during our meeting. All right.